Times may change, but quality does not. Bruce McPherson, current owner of Gibbard Furniture. Gibbard Furniture is the oldest furniture company in the country. Gibbard's is older than the telephone, the zipper, and even Canada itself. At 173 years old, the factory remains to be one of only a few pre-Confederation factories. John Gibbard, the company founder, came to a village known only as the Napanee 32 years before Confederation to establish himself as a cabinet maker. He leased a mill on the canal that ran through the current day Gibbard property and began manufacturing doors, coffins, and furniture. The canal water propelled much of the machinery. With the emphasis on quality, John Gibbard's cabinet shop grew and prospered. Even the best of companies experienced tough times, and Gibbard's was no exception. Their first fire was in 1864. Ten years later, they were hit with fire again, but each time the plant was rebuilt bigger and better because it was a rapidly growing business. An example of 1870s Gibbard quality is evident in this fish and fowl sideboard, acquired by the William Miller family, a piece that survived the disastrous 1874 fire. Much of the red brick plant of today dates back to the last rebuilding at the end of the 19th century. In the 1920s, Gibbard's solid walnut became a household phrase for quality furniture and craftsmanship. Gibbard walnut chests, beds, dining room tables, and bookshelves were being advertised weekly in newspapers across the country by Eaton's, which labeled the brand as the aristocrat of cabinet makers. In the 20s, uh, a young couple getting married, they <laughs> weren't really married unless they had a Gibbard bedroom set or a dining room set. The Gibbard family ran the business for four generations until 1940, when Jack McPherson, a former Gibbard sales manager, purchased the company. The McPherson family rebuilt and re-equipped the company after the Great Depression. Bruce McPherson completed the plant renovations, modernizing the Gibbard plant with some of the finest, most modern woodworking equipment available. During World War II, Gibbard supplied the war effort. Ship's wheels were made by the hundreds. Grenade, shell, ammunition, and fuse boxes were made by the hundreds of thousands. But after the war, Gibbard's focus remained on making quality furniture. Well, I think the key uh, to, to our quality and consistency was the fact that fathers and sons, uh, the sons were following in their father's footsteps and the fathers would make sure that, uh, that their sons were doing, doing it the right way. Uh, it was a family affair, really. I mean, it would, be, it would not be uncommon to have uh, five or six uh, people from the same family working in the plant. Canadian embassies and consulates around the world proudly display and use Gibbard's creations. Celebrities have been Gibbard customers for generations. Hockey great Bobby Orr sleeps in a Gibbard bed, and it is rumored that Canada's first Prime Minister, Sir John A. Macdonald, wrote on a Gibbard desk. Gibbard Furniture Factory is very important to, first of all, the town of Napanee and also the Lakes and Angton County. I've often said uh, whenever I travel to Toronto or other parts of the province, uh, people know Gibberts, and I'm always proud to say that uh, Gibberts is in Napanee, and uh, so it's something we can still be proud of that fact uh, that Gibberts furniture is made in Napanee because Gibberts furniture is still going to last a long time.